The holiday shopping season is behind us, but not the holiday return season. You see, UPS says it will handle more than 60 million return packages through January 22nd, the highest ever. We get more now tonight from CBS's Janet Shamlian. Packages are a frequent front door delivery. And those purchased online were a big part of the holiday, topping 20% of sales. The more startling number is the e-commerce return rate, 25% compared to 8% for a physical store. And this is what that can look like. Mountains of cardboard and plastic packaging with valuable merchandise inside. So retailers really aren't equipped to take the product back. The typical retailer uh, hasn't invested in this yet and you'll see all their returns come back. They pile up, they sit and it often uh, quarterly or twice a year they might liquidate them for pennies on the dollar uh, or even potentially destroy them. Tobin Moore is the CEO of Optoro, which helps companies deal with a tsunami of returns. We have now these new racks behind me here where we put bulk cases. This massive warehouse outside Nashville is one of three dozen Optoro uses across the country, processing merchandise for sellers like American Eagle, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, and others. Workers use Optoro's software to check in the merchandise, ensuring a refund, then relisting the product for a new sale. These items will never go back to the retailer's warehouse. They're held here until sold again. The volume here is incredible. On just these two racks, there are more than 120,000 items that came in as returns, and most will leave this warehouse as a new sale within a week. They're housed here, it's the most efficient thing. Wherever that good comes back, if you can get it back to stock from there, it means less shipments, less touches, less waste. In Houston, Abby McDonald used Happy Returns, Hi. a service that collects customers' unwanted goods for hundreds of companies that sold them. It's postage and box free. Did you already start it online? I did. I have a, the code. Perfect. A QR code is all you need. McDonald sent back a dress she bought online from the women's clothing company, Draper James. And then it's close to my office, which made it easy to, to pop out at lunch and drop it off here for free. Paper source locations like this are among 3,800 collection points nationwide. An average of 20 returns from multiple sellers shipped in a single box, reducing waste and expediting turnaround time. Not everything is resold. Almost 6 billion tons of returned items will end up in landfills after the holiday season. If an item is the wrong fit for a consumer, finding the right one for that returned product is key. Our technology connects every returned item, no matter the condition, to its next best home as efficiently as possible. Minimizing shipments and getting the product back into stock quickly. A win for buyer, seller, and the planet. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Lebanon, Tennessee.